So, we will start the journey from Tumpat Railway Station, which is the end of the East Coast Line. Today, I'll be taking the East Coast Shuttle to Kuala Lipis via Gua Musa as two tickets for two train services in one train. So now I'm going all the way back to Singapore. But first, let's do a jungle train ride with the East Coast Shuttle pulled by this magnificent Hitachi 20G class number 23101 Amana. And this one will bring me all the way to Kuala Lipis via Gua Musa. Then I will connect back into this resting express Raya Timurat to go to JV Central. Let's explore the jungle railway of the East Coast Line. I am so excited that today's East Coast Shadow is hauled by a 23 class, number 23101 Amana, made by Hitachi in 1983. The rig consists of two AECs or Air Conditioned Economy class. And one Air Conditioned Second Class seats attached but sold as Air Conditioned Economy class. The East Coast Shuttle departing Tumpat Railway Station on time at 2 p.m. sharp. The journey on the East Coast Shuttle begins now. It was a smooth ride when the train left Tumpat. But when the train stops at nearby major stations such as Wakaf Baru and Pasir Mas, more passengers are boarding the train as the train is getting more crowded. There are also food vendors on board. As the train is crowded and it's free seating, some passengers might prefer to stand. The train passes through many traditional kampongs along the way, and even bridges with rivers. I bought a chrysanthemum tea from the food vendor and it tastes bad. The East Coast Shuttle or the Shuttle Pantai Kipu is a daily service from Tumpat all the way to Kuala Lipis via Gua Musa from the East Coast Line. And this one is mainly used by locals living on the East Coast Line as still easy to get into the train, such as the train is also stopped at small halls because we don't have ticket counter. Passengers may board the train and just pay to the group the fare from the destination. And now it's getting really here in this jungle area. So there's not much footage on the side. So enjoy the video of the shuttle. The East Coast Shuttle stops and halts with no ticketing facility. Now in Kuala Krai Station, the train is moved to a loop for crossing with another shuttle train. And here is the shuttle train from Labong to Tumpak halt by 24 class. And it departs first. Now, the East Coast Shuttle is crossing the Jungle Railway. So now, I'm in the first coach, just behind this 23 class locomotive. The train also stops at a small station called Manek Urai. Continuing on the journey again in the Jungle Railway. The 
train passes through many tunnels also as this one is entering the tunnel. Now I move to an AEC coach. The last crossing with an East Coast shuttle at Dabong Station. Our train is making a brief stop at the Dabong Station and changing crews here. Back on the journey, the train is crossing the Kumubu Bridge. The Kumubu Bridge was collapsed in December 2014 due to the massive floods in the East Coast area. Is it lovely that the train makes regular stops just in front of your house? Evening comes, so it's getting dark outside. We are now arriving Guamusang Station. But this is the old station. Now we are really arriving Guamusang Station at the new station. In Guamusang station, the train changes from 57 down to 59 down, but using the same train. We are now departing Guamusang Station at 59 down. This train is already on the second leg, which is 59 down from Guamusang to Paralympus. And I think I'm not gonna make much footage of this train as it's already gone now. I think nothing you can see, so I can just skip to Paralympus. And also, uh, the train is not out of the software of the other Paralympus. Very few passengers on the Guamusang Paralympus sector. Then the train arriving Kuala Lipi station which is the real end of the East Coast Shuttle. So that was the ride of the East Coast Shuttle. So now I'm in KL. I mean Wala Lipis. So I'm going to wait until the Express Raya Team Run 27 down from Tupac driving Collins and I'm going back to JP Central and Singapore of course. After this Going back to JB Central on the Express Rakyat Tiburan number 27 down. It is halted by a 25 class again, which is 25106 Pulau Ketam, as the same logo that brings me up from JB Central to Tupan. Using the ADNS coach as usual or the air-conditioned day-night second-class sleeper. And it's very quiet now so most passengers are sleeping. I'm using the upper berth as the train is full. Now my body is on the upper berth. Just need to close the curtains now as I'm trying to rest. Departing Kuala Lipi Station from my upper berth window. So I just wake up and the train is already in the Johor area. So maybe in about 3 to 4 hours the train will 
wife at JV Central and now I'm going to be in the lower bird because it's not comfortable to the upper bird if you are awake on daytime so we have the passenger so we will up now the train is cruising on the southern line in Johor now I move to the ABC or air conditioned buffet coach because the ADNS coach is too cold for me. I'm having cup noodles and hot Milo for breakfast. These are the typical sceneries in the southern line of Johor. Now the train is already in Kuang station which is 3 stops away from JB Central. Next, at Rungam station, we are crossing with Express Laga number 40 up from JB Central to Pulau Sebang Kampir as the Express Selatan makes a brief stop at the station where we just use the loop to pass through. So now the train is uh, in front of Kulai station. We're waiting for the signal because there is an Express Selatan from JP Central to Dumas. This may be changing tracks to the loop for us to enter the platform as they already done doing passenger flow in the platform of Kulai station. Two stops away from JB Central, we are now crossing with the real Express Selatan number 42 up from JB Central to Kumas, hauled by 20 y 102 Kuala Besar using the Inca coaches made in Indonesia. The train is now approaching Johor Baru city. At last, we are now arriving JB Central, the final destination for the Express Rakya Timuran. My last look of my Express Rakyat Timuran. Finally at JP Central Station and now for the very last leg is the short 5 minute ride on the Shadow Turn Route from JP Central to Kunas in Singapore. Finally, the last leg using the Shadow Turn Route to Woodlands Train Checkpoint in Singapore. The afternoon causeway jam on the Woodlands Causeway on a Sunday afternoon. As I'm reaching Singapore. So now I'm back in Singapore again and thank you for watching my Malayan Railway vlog to the East Coast. And I really enjoyed the trip but now I have to go back to reality again. And stay tuned for more videos by Travel Star 98.